This is MSJ Chem and in this video I'm going to look at structure and properties of ionic compounds. So let's start by looking at the structure of ionic compounds. Ionic compounds have a lattice structure. The ions in the lattice structure are held in place by strong electrostatic attractions and the electrostatic attractions come from the oppositely charged ions and are not free to move around. This is the lattice structure for sodium chloride. The ions are held firmly in place by the opposite charges of the sodium and the chloride ions. Next we look at the electrical conductivity. Ionic compounds do not conduct electricity when solid. They only conduct electricity when they're molten, which means melted, or dissolved in water. When molten or dissolved, the ions are free to move and carry the electric current. Next we look at the melting and boiling point. Ionic compounds have high melting and boiling points due to the strong electrostatic attraction between the oppositely charged ions. For example, sodium chloride has a melting point of 800 degrees C. The higher the charge and smaller the ionic radius of the ions, the stronger the electrostatic attraction and higher the melting point. Next we look at solubility. Ionic compounds are soluble in polar solvents such as water. The ions are separated from the lattice structure by the polar water molecules. The ions become surrounded by water molecules. They become hydrated. This diagram shows the hydration of a sodium ion. The sodium ion has a positive charge and it's attracted to the negative end of the water molecules. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.